What's up internet this is Manish from rebellionrider.com and today in this oracle database tutorial I am going to show you how to create table using enterprise manager as I promised in my last video. Ok but before that what is enterprise manager? Enterprise manager is a web app provided by oracle to control and manage your database installed on your system on your machine or installed on a server. So without further ado let's jump over enterprise manager to start your enterprise manager click start button go to all program and then oracle and then choose database control orcl i have only one database configured on this system with the name of orcl but if you have more than one database configured on your system then you will have options for your all the database here just click database control orcl <coughs> avoid this warning click proceed anyway as i am using windows machine then all the services related to this enterprise manager and uh, oracle engine are automatically up and running but if you are using linux machine then you have to run all these services manually here okay let's uh, see how to create table using enterprise manager okay here we are on the login page for uh, log into this enterprise manager you have to use your sys cred credentials so put your sys credentials here sys password and always remember to connect as you have to select sys dba there are situations when we connect as a normal or a sys opener i'll tell you in my future video when we use sys opener to log in in enterprise manager click login <coughs> okay here we are on our enterprise manager to, to create a table using this enterprise manager you have to go here in the schema tab and under database object select tables now to create a table select create among these three options standard heap organized temporary index organized table we will be going with standard heap organized table and in my future video i will show you how to create a temporary table and what is it and what are index organized table for now just click continue and here is our create table screen sorry for this pop up specify the name for your table i'm going to give product as a name here here in a schema you can choose in which schema you want to create this table i want to create this table in hr schema for that click this torch button and then scroll down a little and select hr and then click select table space you can select whatever table space you want but by default it's user table space but if you want to change it again click this torch button and select the table space from all these names okay but i'm good with my default table space which is user now create some columns for that give a column name i'm giving part sorry fraud id choose data type i'm going to choose number specify size if you want if you want to give some scale you can give a scale here if you want to make this column mandatory then you can check this check a uh, checkbox not null but i'm not going to make it mandatory if you want to give some default values you can choose default value or uh, if you want to encrypt this column you can tick mark this checkbox but the thing is that right now all these encryption column is disabled uh, to enable this encryption column you have to create wallet in my future video i'll show you what is wallet and how to create a wallet and how to enhance the security by the use of wallet now give some other column name if you want to put some constraint you can go to this tab and put some constraint but uh, i am going to make a separate video for all these constraints so we are going to concentrate on simple create table so if you want to see your SQL for this okay 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 okay, okay. Uh, we have to specify size here product quantity let's select 5 sorry now click show SQL here is our SQL query as you can see we have fired a create table by the use of this web app uh, and we created a table by the name of product in HR schema which has three column prod id prod name and prod quantity with the number where care and where care two 
an uh, data type but I think we should specify number here where instead of where care okay now let's check yes we have number and the column width is 5 uh, for column width for pod name is 15 and column width for pod ID is 3 hit uh, return and now click OK and here is our table table HR dot product has been created successfully if you want to see the structure just come down here and uh, where is a uh, here is our table click here and that's the structure of our table every information related to this table is on this page as you can see all the information all these three columns names and all everything everything about this table is here okay that's it for today hope you enjoyed watching this video please guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe we'll see you soon this is Manish from rebellion rider